Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In the previous video, I have demonstrated how to install Arc Linux 2016 on Oracle VirtualBox. Now, in this video, I will be discussing that what we should do after Arc Linux fresh installation. You might want to install a desktop environment or you might want to install additional software which will help you for your day-to-day -day activities or you simply might want to explore Arc Linux. So, let us start with some Arc Linux post installation steps. The first step which I am having for you is the update of the system. Now, before we start with the commands, let me tell you that on the screen you can see that I've already booted up my fresh Arc Linux. It is the fresh Linux which I have installed in the previous video. Now I am starting with some next steps. So, before we start with the commands, let us first of all log in with the root. So let me give the username as root and let me give the password. Now I have logged in with the root, so let me first of all check that whether this Arc Linux is connected to internet or not. So for that, I just give this command ping google.com. So now you can see that the reply has come from google.com, which means that this Arc Linux is connected to the internet. And now we can proceed with the updations and all other commands and so forth, which I'm going to discuss in a couple of seconds. So let us start. So the first thing which I'm having for you is the update the system. Now, if you have seen my other videos, the first command when we install our Ubuntu and we have made Ubuntu a backup server, a LAMP server, etc. The first command which I always give is the apt get update so that we can update the package repositories. So in order to update the repositories in Arc Linux, we have to give the first command for updating the system that is called PACMAN space minus capital SYU. Pacman stands for package manager. So let us press enter. Now you can see it is synchronizing the package databases. So you can see that the core is being synchronized and extra packages are also synchronized and community packages are synchronized. So what these are, I have already demonstrated in my previous video. So you can see that the total download size is about 2.34 MB and total install size is 9.73 MB. So upgrade will be less than 0.6. So let us proceed with installation with pressing Y and press enter. Now you can see that it will be downloading all these packages which will update the Arc Linux. So you can see that all the core, extra and community packages are well updated. So the second point which I'm having for you is configure the package manager. As you probably know, Arc Linux uses a package manager called Pacman that is called the PACMAN. It is an official package manager for Arc Linux and Arc Linux based distributions such as Arc Bank. So Pacman's default setting should work just fine. However, you need to enable the multi-lib repository for both 32-bit and 64-bit packages on your 64-bit Arc Linux. So for that, what we have to do, let me clear this. We have to edit one file that is called with the, with the editor that is nano, nano space slash etc slash pacman.conf. So here is the file. Now what we have to do is to uncomment these two lines. So we have to go downstairs and we have to find the multi-lib. So let me go downstairs and downstairs. Yes, so there is a multi-lib testing. So for that, what we have to do is to remove these two hashes, this one one and this second hash so that you can see over there if you want to run 32-bit applications on your 64-bit system enable the multi-lib repositories which are required over here so we have enabled it by removing the hashtag so what we have to do is to go for this and we can uh, have the save of this file so let us press ctrl x press y and press enter now, what you have to do is to go to the package manager mirror list website, which I've already opened on my Chrome web browser. So this is called arclinux.org slash mirror list. So what you have to do is to enable these two uh, commands over here. So what you have to do is to choose your country. So I'm living in India. So first of all, select India and click on generate list. So you can see that these two files, these two lines are being there and we have to add these two lines in our Arc Linux. So how they will be doing, I'll tell you right away. So let me come to Arc Linux. Now what we have to do is to uh, open one file that is nano slash etc slash pacman dot d slash mirror list. So this is the file. Now what we have to do is to paste these two lines, these two lines, these two lines into over here. So 
at the beginning over here so what you have to do is to is to go over there this one and type over here what is written over here so let me type for you server space equal to http colon slash slash mirror dot cse dot iitk dot ac dot in slash arc linux slash dollar repo slash os slash dollar arc so this is done and we have to type the another line server is equal to space http colon slash slash ftp dot iitm dot ac dot in slash arc linux slash dollar repo slash os slash dollar arc so these two lines are being written so we have to save the file so that we can crawl these repositories and we can get our packages updated so let us press control x y and press enter so the file is being saved so now what we have to do is to update the package repositories by, by issuing this command pacman space minus space s y y so make it sure that whatever I am doing you should follow the steps so that you should not face any problem and all the commands and all the web links which I am going to show you is available downstairs at the video so sometimes it may give some error but don't you worry we can issue the command again it's sometimes that the server may be giving some error regarding uh, you can say some uh, speed issues so don't you worry we can just issue the command again so now you can see that the core has started so let's wait so it is all uh, always retrieving it so we have to wait for that so the extra packages are now updated and now let us wait for the community packages so no need to worry about these errors they sometimes come because of the server speed issue might be there is having high traffic and now you can see that the community is also being updated so of these things coming which means that we have successfully updated our packages and we are ready to move further so the core extra and community are the three packages which are into there and multi-lib testing is updated so let us issue the command again so that we can verify yes core package is updating so let me make it to the center so extra packages are being updated so this command is just for uh, the purpose that we have uh, done everything and we can cross check that the packages are already updated so now you can see that the core extra and community packages are updated so might be the Indian server is facing some uh, speed issues but don't you worry about that now after updating the packages what we do number third is creating a normal user account so I will be making uh, the user account of my name into Arc Linux so that instead of login with the root uh, with the root login we can have another login also like we simply with the, with the command user add so what we will do let me tell you so everything has been updated let me 
clear this and now what we have to do is to create a normal user account so we have built in user uh, root user to perform all admin tasks it is pretty bad to use the root user for normal computing task so let us create a normal user for example my name so let me give this command user add space minus m space minus g users space capital g wheel comma storage comma power so let me remove the difference okay space minus s slash bin slash bash username so now you can see that the user is being added so what we have to do is to set the password so password my name so password is updated successfully so then to install sudo packages to perform admin tasks with normal users we have to install sudo package run this command pacman space minus s sudo so what for that we have to install this package so let us press y and press enter so with the sudo command we can uh, uh, add the packages so to add the user that is anand to the sudo's group to perform admin task we should run this command that is viz udo so what we have to do is to find and comment the following line so let me go downstairs 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 let me show you the file which has to be down uh, wheel file will be there so yes so this is the following command to uncomment to allow members of group level to execute any command so wheel is the group and uh, anand is being added in this group so what we have to do is to delete this so now you can see that i have deleted with simple delete button so after that what you have to do is to sh shift colon wq so the file can be written and this means that the new user that you have belonged to wheel group can perform any of the admin tasks so these are the basic tasks which are required in order to make the arc linux more ready for another desktop environment so in the in this video i have discussed what things are to be performed after basic arc linux installation and the coming videos i will be showing you how to install desktop environments like xfce genome kde or ubuntu mate into arc linux so that we can have the graphical based interface of the arc linux so i hope that you do like this video all the commands and all the web link which i have shown you in this video are available downstairs so do give this a shot do make your arc linux ready after doing all the practicals which are coming in the future way in my youtube channel thank you so much for watching